Howdy folks, Jake here with Banjo Ben again. And today we got another tech tip for you. Um, tis the season for what we're gonna talk about today, which is sharp fret edges. This is gonna be the same on any instrument. It doesn't matter if it's guitar, or mandolin, banjo. There can be a couple causes for this. Uh, one can just be uh, poor fret work from the manufacturer. Sometimes, if depending on the level of guitar you get, it can come with uh, really sharp edges. And uh, of course, we take care of that here before we send anything out. But um, another reason, you know, on older instruments or something you've had for a while can be simply that the fretboard has dried out. And that's kind of an increasing uh, part of our repairs that we see come in throughout the uh, this time of year, especially, is that the fingerboards will dry out, which causes uh, each side to recess and the edge of the fret will become sharp. Um, which is uncomfortable. Now, if you play with proper technique, you won't really feel the top edge. You're, you're not really, you don't really want to wrap your thumb around um, or anything like that. And even as far as the bottom edge, like I can get along with it okay if you keep everything arched and poised like it's supposed to. But still, that being the case, every once in a while, you know, when you're playing something, bad technique can creep in. And especially if you're sliding or doing a position shift, you can feel those and it can be uncomfortable. So uh, to fix this is fairly a simple process. Uh, first of all, if it is because your fretboard's dried out, I always recommend you take a little bit of this, we sell this stuff here, limb oil, spray it on a rag, wipe your fretboard down real nice with it, and you'll be in uh, good shape as far as, you know, moisturizing and conditioning, if you will, your fretboard. Um, but that doesn't always cut it, depending on the circumstance. Like we've got an old guitar here that's probably been dry for quite some time. So what we do, what we need is just a flat file of some sort. Um, I'm gonna use one here that's purpose made for it. Got a nice comfortable wooden handle on it and everything. And it's about uh, about six inches or something like that, which is a, a pretty good length for this kind of thing. You can also, my dad was a really good luthier and he would a lot of times just use a flat file. He'd been the end up on, or he actually made, <laughs> look there, time flies like the wind, fruit flies like bananas. It's very profound. <laughs> but uh, he also at one time had taken one of these files and cut it down to about six inches and then epoxied it uh, to a wooden handle that he made and made one similar to this purpose made one. So all we do, uh, now that we've got all that covered, the reasons why and the materials you'll need to correct it, um, we just simply take the outer string loose, like I have already done, and we'll stand the guitar kind of up on edge like this. And I'll use my left hand and pull the strings down out of the way. Just a quick, easier way to, to get a hold of it. And you just start back here, and what you're gonna do is lay the file on the edge of the frets. You don't wanna hit the, the actual wood, you want the file to skate across the frets like you would if you imagine uh, steps like that you would walk up. You know how they've got this angle going on. And if you lay a board on a well-made set of steps, if you lay a straight edge on it, it'll skate right down the edge of the steps all the way to the bottom. That's kind of the goal we're trying to accomplish here. So we just lay it right there, kind of at that angle. You just skate all the way up, just lightly. And you just kind of gently do that a few times. And then you feel, see already I'm feeling a huge improvement. And depending on the file type you're using, it could take more swipes than that, but you don't really want to give it a lot of pressure. Uh, we're just trying to take that sharp edge off. So I almost let, I almost, don't apply any pressure. I almost just let the weight of the file do the cutting as I try to guide it along those fret edges like so. And anyway, that's all there is to it. That'll get you, see already, that feels that feels 100% better just from doing that little bit. Polishes the edges of the frets out. After you do that, you can take a little 400 grit sandpaper and hit the edge of them to really polish them out. Um, on this one, what I'll do, as you can see, the frets have kind of become grungy and it's got some oxidization there on them. I'll remove the strings and uh, polish all the frets out and, uh, you know, condition the fretboard and all that good stuff, too. Uh, so, anyway, that's it. I hope uh, 
Hope that helps you along in your journey to smooth feeling fret edges. <laughs> and uh, until next time, may your calluses never flake. Thanks a lot.